a review for the Winix 5500-2. This unit is about 24 inches tall, it's about 15 inches wide, and it's about 8 inches deep. The unit weighs about 16 and a half pounds. Now, this unit features three different filters. Uh, behind this front grille, there is a washable pre-filter. Behind the washable pre-filter, there is a carbon filter. And behind that carbon filter, there is a true HEPA filter. Air travels into the unit through the front grille here, but also on the sides, there are large gaps here on each side of the front of the unit. So air travels in through the front, through the sides, and even a little bit through the bottom. There's a gap here on the bottom as well. So air travels through all those directions into the unit, past the pre-filter, past the activated carbon filter, past the true HEPA filter, and then up and out through the top of the unit. There's a outlet up top here behind the control panel. So clean air exits out through the top here. This unit features four fan speeds, low, medium, high, and turbo. The unit outputs at about 250 CFM, and this unit retails for about $150. So what do we like about the Winix 5500-2? We definitely like the high output, especially considering the price. Uh, this unit, again, outputs at about 250 CFM, meaning that it takes in 250 cubic feet of air every minute, and it is actually able to process that amount of air every minute. At 250 CFM, this unit can be used in rooms up to about 300 square feet. Now, for good and proper air filtration, you really need two things. You need proper air filters, and you also need good output, and this unit does give you very high output at 250 CFM. In terms of filters, again, this unit features that washable pre-filter. The washable pre-filter is the first filter that the air will actually travel through. And the purpose of that washable pre-filter is to filter out larger particles. So things like hairs, uh, larger fibers, all types of larger particles like that are caught by the pre-filter. And what that does is it allows the pre-filter to saturate with those types of particles so that they don't saturate the true HEPA filter instead. So that is the purpose of that pre-filter. And this unit does have a washable pre-filter. And this is important because a lot of units out on the market have a replaceable pre-filter. And what that means is that as those pre-filters saturate with all of these larger particles, they need to eventually be replaced. And of course, replacing them means buying them, buying replacements for them. With this unit, it has that washable pre-filter, meaning that the pre-filter can saturate over time. And when it would have been time to replace it, all you have to do is take it out of the air purifier and clean it. Now you can clean it by vacuuming it, you can rinse it, uh, but you can do that yourself. You can clean that filter and the unit will still be highly effective when you replace that clean filter. With a lot of other units on the market, that filter cannot be cleaned and it has to be replaced. This unit also comes equipped with a true HEPA filter. In the world of air purifiers, the true HEPA filter is really the gold standard for particle filtration. So anything like allergens, dust, mold spores, any type of particle that travels in the air through this unit will be filtered out by that true HEPA filter. And the fact that this unit actually does come equipped with a true HEPA filter is another strong positive for it. Uh, finally, for gas filtration, this unit comes equipped with a activated carbon filter. Now, a lot of units on the market, especially at this price point and below, come equipped with a fibrous filter that is simply coated with carbon. Uh, the carbon filter inside of this Winix features a plastic honeycomb design. And inside of that plastic frame, there is actual carbon pellets, activated carbon pellets. So as the air travels through here, if it contains any type of an unwanted gas, a VOC or an odor, something like that, the VOCs, the odors, the molecules that make up those VOCs will actually bond to the carbon inside of that filter and be removed from the air. And the fact that this unit actually comes equipped with that activated carbon filter that contains actual real activated carbon pellets is also a strong positive for this unit compared to most of the units on the market at the same price point that only features that fibrous filter that doesn't capture gases nearly as well as the pellet-based activated carbon filter inside of this Winix. We also like the very good energy efficiency on this unit. Now, this unit has a CFM to watt ratio of about five to one on its highest fan speed, and its ratio is about 10 to one on lower settings. Now for comparison's sake, most of their units on the market tend to hover around two to three CFM per watt of power draw on higher settings and also about two to three CFM per watt on lower settings. So you are getting a much better CFM to power draw ratio 
with this Winix unit than you get with most other air purifiers on the market. We also like the low noise output on this unit to determine noise output, to compare noise output between different units. We look at the CFM to decibel ratio, similar to how we look at CFM to watt ratio for energy efficiency. So in terms of CFM to dB ratio, this unit also does very well. It is a very quiet machine for the amount of air that it actually processes. Finally, the last thing that we'll mention here as something that we really like about this machine is its value. And this is probably the thing that we like the most about this unit. Again, you are paying about $150 here for a unit that outputs at approximately 250 CFM. It has that true HEPA filter. It has that activated carbon filter that is of a higher quality due to the fact that it actually contains activated carbon pellets. You have that washable pre-filter. You get all of that in this machine and you only have to pay about $150 to get that. So in terms of value, this is really one of the best value units out there on the market. Now, moving on to things that we dislike about this unit, the one thing that we probably dislike the most is the fact that you cannot turn off the display lights on top of the unit's control panel here. Uh, there are LEDs that illuminate as you turn on different settings and those cannot be turned off. The actual air quality display here, this horizontal bar here, it cannot be turned off. The plasma wave display here can be turned off, but at the cost of turning off the plasma wave. So you can turn that on and off, but you lose functionality if you turn off the light. Uh, the same is true for the fan speeds here. You can turn off the fan speed lights, but you have to set the unit to sleep mode to do that. And so you lose the functionality of being able to manually control fan speed if you go to the sleep mode and you turn off the LEDs up here for the fan speed. Uh, so there are these white LEDs that illuminate that cannot be turned off without going to the sleep mode. And once you go to the sleep mode, you lose that functionality of being able to manually set fan speed, which we do recommend for most use cases. So that LED illumination up there with the control panel, the fact that you don't have the control to turn off the lights, that is definitely a negative for this unit. Now, there are many, many other models of air purifiers in the market that suffer from the same issue. So it is not necessarily a problem specific to this model, but that is definitely the one thing that we don't like about this model is that lack of control for the LED illumination. The second thing that we don't like about this unit is its lack of a longer warranty. This unit ships with only a one year warranty. That is much less than the warranty that comes with most other air purifiers on the market. Most other units come equipped with a three year warranty or a five year warranty. So for the fact that this unit does come with that one year warranty, that is definitely a negative for it. Compared Comparing this unit to other Winix units out there on the market, the unit that you are most likely to compare to it is the 5300-2. So this is the 5500-2. There's also a Winix 5300-2. Now the 5300-2 is essentially the same unit. It has exactly the same dimensions. It has a very similar weight. It has the same control panel up here. It almost looks the same except for the fact that its front grill is a different color. It is essentially the same unit. The only difference between the 5500-2, or let's say the most substantial difference between the 5500-2 and the 5300-2 is the actual carbon filter that is installed on each unit. The 5300-2 has that fibrous filter that is simply coated with carbon, while the 5500-2 has that activated carbon filter that actually contains carbon pellets. So that is the largest difference between them. And that is the reason why we would recommend the 5500-2 over the 5300-2. With the carbon filter that's in here, you really get much better gas filtration with this unit. And we believe that that extra performance in gas filtration is well worth the extra $20 or so that you have to spend on the 5500-2 versus the 5300-2. So how does this unit compare to some of the top rated units on the market? Well, this unit actually is one of the best air purifiers that we've tested. It is a top rated recommended model. No other unit on the market provides the same level of particle filtration, gas filtration, and output at the price of this unit. And that is the reason why we recommend it as one of the best air purifiers out there on the market today. Now there is one substantial competitor to the Winix unit here that is also out there on the market and that is the Koei Mighty Air Purifier. And we're gonna take a few minutes just to compare those two units to really give you a good idea of how this unit compares to another very highly rated model, the Koei Mighty. Now the Koei normally retails for about $50 more than the Winix, so it is a little bit more expensive. It has exactly the same output. It also comes with a true HEPA filter. It also comes with a washable pre-filter. 
However, the Koei, like the Winix 5300H2, comes equipped with a fibrous filter that is simply coated with carbon. So again, with the Koei there, like you do with the 5300H2 compared to this 5500H2, you have lower performance when it comes to gas filtration with the Koei. This particular Winix, the 5500H2, also comes with a remote control, while the Koei does not. So if that is something that is important to you, keep that in mind also when you're comparing those two units. In terms of things that favor the Koei unit, the Koei does come with a three-year warranty versus the one-year warranty on the Winix. So the Koei is definitely the better option there if warranty is important to you. However, we must say here that in terms of inspecting each unit, uh, the Winix is a very well-built machine and we very much doubt the fact that it is going to require that warranty anywhere within one year, two years, even three years. In terms of energy efficiency, the Winix and the Koei units tested very similarly. The Winix does have slightly less power draw on its highest fan speed compared to the Koei. And again, on that highest fan speed, the units have equal output. So you have slightly better energy efficiency on the highest fan speed with the Winix compared to the Koei. But otherwise, both units are very much equal in terms of energy efficiency and noise output. So what would be our final recommendation between the Koei and the Winix? Well, it really comes down to two things, and that is gas filtration and price. For both of those things, the Winix is the better option here. It filters gases better, and it also is a lower price at most retailers. So between value and that better gas filtration, our nod goes to the Winix. If warranty is important to you, then definitely the Koei is a very good option. And really the Koei is not a bad air purifier by any means. You really can't go wrong between either unit. It is simply our recommendation that if you absolutely had to choose between the two, we would recommend the Winix to most consumers.